everything. You've gone ahead. I told you from here. See? From where I marked six from here, I double stitched three times from when I was beginning. And I stopped here. There's half inch here remaining. See? I double stitched there too. So the trouser is like this. You can see it? So the next thing we want to do, we want to show you how to cut. What we are doing is that you come with your fabric. Remember, I told you two years is enough. So now, if you cut the pocket, what you do is to take the length of the pocket, which is 12.5, and the width of the pocket is 7. I said the length of the pocket is 12.5. You can see this 12.5, mark it like so, and the width will be 7 inch. So here is 8, I'm going to pull it in. Seven inch, seven inch. We are going to mark it and we are cutting two of it. You can see we've cut the bucket out. The width is seven, the length is 12.5. So I'll show you a video on how to put the darts and how to put the pockets. Stay tuned. Now, now you can see this notched area. This is the middle. So I want to, this is my mark. It's showing, it's visible, I'm seeing it. This is the front. So now what I want to do so that the two will be the same, I want to place it like this and get this point. So what I'll just do now is to place here. Remember the chalk is behind. So you can see how easy it is for me. I'll just take the notched areas go into our corner. So, this is our pant trousers. Put in our darts. Since there is no light, I would have ironed it properly. Pour water in front, like this. You can see. I'll give it the same notch together. I'll notch it like this to the extent where I left the other one, like so. I'll come in with my paper stay and just use one inch. Come in with my paper stay like this. Where we have the two inch, I mark my two inch this way as well. Then from this two inch, I'll divide this into two like this up to this where we have the notch. So from this two inch, I'm going to slant it not too straight and not too slanty up to this point. So don't forget. So now this beginning double stitch up to three times, please. We are getting it to this point where we have a notch. Double stitch there up to three times as well. Please don't use a gather stitch. What is a gather stitch? Gather stitch is the longest stitch you have on your machine which is the last point of it here for this type of machine. But if you're using an industrial, it's five. So you've done it like this. The next thing to do is to flip it this way. Have you seen it? Like so. You'll notice that this thing starts from here. Don't try to make it straight. The way this thing is, keep it like this. And so. You can see. Just so, make sure everything is open, well open. So up to this point where you have your, your notch. Don't forget, I'm sewing on the pocket side, not on the main trouser part. You sew like so, double stitch. And don't forget to always cut your threads, please. It makes your work neat. Cut it off like so. So you've seen what I have done. This is what I have done. You can see it. The next thing to do is to bring here like so. So now this is the front 
of the trazzle. So you come like quarter of an inch, which is 0 0.25. You come in by 0 0.25, which is quarter of an inch. Always double stitch. See what I'm doing? I'll make a, bring this out like so. Please don't forget to give us a, give us a thumbs up. If you enjoy our video, if you don't too, our doors are open for your critics and advice. You see what I'm saying? Bring it out. You cut it. Cut here. You can see how neat this thing is, even without giving it a good press. See how neat it is. Why I added the, the um, gum stains to make this thing stand up well, to make it sit properly, sorry. So now you bring it out like so. This is that pocket area. So what you're going to do, you come this area. If it's one and a half you take, you took earlier, you mark your one and a half. But we took two inch, so we are marking our two inch. We're bringing it back. So we place this pocket back to where we have this two inch. So, you see what we are doing? A pocket is taking shape already. You see how this thing is? You can just give it a quick match, like so. Just to keep it still, so it doesn't move when you're doing the other stuffs. The next thing to do, you bring it together like so. You see, the pockets are together. No one is bigger than any, but paraventure, no one is bigger. You can trim it off and make it equal. You can see the way this one is. You can come down by half inch, a quarter of an inch, like so, and notch. Have you seen it? Notch to this point. So it gets to this point where you sewed earlier. So when you notch to that point, what you do is this. You bring your, see, it's front facing front like so. Turn it backwards like this and give it a quick stitch like this. Bring it out. Try and gauge that place you notch up to the point where you notched. Like so. Close. Double stitch as usual. So this point where you notched, you notch it again like three, four times. You bring it out. Cut out your thread. Then you're going to trim this off. You can see we've trimmed it off put it in like so put it in like so it's a detailed teaching detail we do detailed teaching you come back we stitch here like this this is how we do our one-on-one -on -one teaching the only problem we have with that. so that's what we do in Nabo's chore you can see it's already done isn't she beautiful you can see what you're going to do next you just come here like so match it through like this i will do the same thing on the other parts of the trouser i will show you how to couple thank you you can see we've gone ahead We've added the pockets. You can see what we've done. The pockets, we've done it. The next thing we want to do, we want to show you how to put the zip part of it. So just watch as we go unveil. Cool. You can see, I went ahead and I cut this. The length will be like six inch, there about seven inch, seven inch. I cut there two. And see, they are facing each other front to front. So now, this is front to front. I'll take this part and put it like this. And I'll come ahead 
and I mark my six inch. I mark my six inch like so. Remember, it was six inch we took to sew here. So I place this zip a bit away from the six inch from here, out of it, and I'll stitch it like this straight down. Watch carefully. You can watch the video over and over. And I'll show it like this. Down. When I sew it down like so, I'll now place it. I'll now place it this way. Now from here is our six inch. Have you seen it? Six inch. So you place this like so and you sew. You notice I always double stitch any time I'm sewing. And you sew it all the way down. You can see we've sewn it all the way down. We we'll come here like so. You place this here like um less than quarter of an inch just match on top of it like you're top stitching it so we are going to stop stitch on top of it like so downwards and i'll show you you can see how we top stitch it we top stitched it So now we've done this side, we want to do this other side that laps on it. We are taking this, we are placing it like so, front to front, and we are going to sew it all the way down. Then I will show you. So you can see, we've sewn it all the way down. We we'll bring it like so. We are going to top stitch it this way, all the way down as well like so and goes down like so now with Sony M we top stitch all the way down the next thing to do we are going to take you see where we top stitch is like a guideline you place it on where the top stitch on this front one together like so you can use a pin use a pin to secure it like so like this and you saw it you see the notching area the notching area is here. So you just put your needle down there first. Before you close it. Then you start sewing. We're going to meet it up with this other line we have here. So now we've sewn it. You can see how it is. Can see it's lapping already on the other. You've seen it? It's lapping already on it. So the next thing we want to do now, you take your back, this part, and sew with your half inch we added all the way down. You sew with your half inch all the way down, and we'll show you. You can see this is front facing front. This is the side of the back. We are placing it like so. Going to sew it all the way down. If you see why we left here, you remember? So now we are just sewing all the way down, straight down. You can see now we've joined the hair. You can see how fine it is. You 
and see here, same thing. But there is something that kept me. I forgot to do this. Just come here like so. I'll just match here. Like so. Just sew here like so. I was supposed to sew it before I attach this part. So, just to give it one nice and see. Just to have that cut that is always here. Don't worry, on our next class, I won't forget it. I'll show us how to do it properly. We'll open our zip like this. We've opened it. We place it backwards like this. So we are going to place it like this, straight up like this. Secure it with a pin. And just go ahead and secure it with a pin. It's okay. Place it on your sewing machine, like so. Your sewing, you remove your pins and sew it down like so. We made we sewn it down, we bring it out, zip it. Can see how ah, it is already. So, the next thing we want to do is to carry the back place together like so and secure it with a pin like this. When you secure it with a pin like so, remember we added 1.25. From the back first, you mark it out like so. Then you come in and mark your dots. It's already here. We already seen it. So we want to take a dart measurement for the back. So it will help us to give us a little butt. Later I will teach you how to put butt on your trousers. You can actually put butt and hip on your trousers. You are marking this. We we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll catch the darts as we did earlier. Can see we've done the darts. Why I say we should use two, six inch? You can see it as airports to add small both. So the next thing to do, I'm going to mark it, keep it like this. Open your zip a bit. Close here like this. Use your pin to secure it like this. What you're going to do now is to mark your exact weight measurement. So the waist measurement we are working with is 32, don't forget. So from the head of our zip, which is here, we are marking 32. This is where 32 is, 16. You seen it? So from there, this is where our allowance is, you've seen it. From there, you sew like so. But now, this is what you do. I sew it like guy's trouser. I'll come downwards like one inch before I start sewing. I double stitch three to four times. And I go all the way. Let me secure this. I go all the way. See how it's using seven because don't forget half inch is going in to sew the band. So it will be left with six and a half. So I'll be marking seven. I'll give it a quick notch, like quarter of an inch. It will reduce size. Then I'll leave half inch like we did in the front. I'll double stitch three to four times. But this line, then I'll remove my pins, cut out my thread. I'll still go back to the line. 
on our double stitch again I'll sew again on it that particular one I'll sew it twice or thrice then I'll cut off the next thing I want to do is if you notice here it's open now I'll measure from here all the way to here is 18.75 the next one from here I'll measure is 19.25 so I'll go and cut my band now what I did on the band is this I cut gum stain which is paper stain 1.25 on it I left half inch here 1.25 is here I folded the half inch inside like this all the way and I folded this one like this and added like less just a half inch this way that we used to join and I did it too remember one of them is 19.75 and one of them is 18 let's go in and show you how to sew it and I showed you earlier on how we cut and ironed we now placed it on the front of the cloth both sides differently we used our pins you can see to pin it all the way so we want to use this allowance we kept for the sewing and we sew all the way around we sew it round and we'll come we'll show you you can see we've sewn it we've sewn it so as we finish sewing it you cut this off you come here you do likewise so this is it the next thing to do is to put this together like so make sure they are together and equal remove the excess make sure the lines are meeting the lines here are meeting then you you sew it with that what was remaining here so now i've sewn it into the line see I've sewn it. It's now up one. You can see. So, so now the next thing to do, you want to go in like so. Bring the middle. Remember we left after half half inch. We kept out half half inch. We put this half inch to this half inch this way. And we saw this one from here, this point all the way down we do the same thing on this side on this side from that half inch we left all the way down then we'll show you you can see we've sewn it from this way we sewed all the way straight down we did likewise on this side i double stitch here so the next thing to do is to bring out your trouser Bring this one out like so. Our trouser is almost ready. So it's just for us to do a band. Trouser is ready. So the next thing to do, depending on the type of hook you want to use, I'm going to use skirt hook on it. So that will be the final thing. Or you can decide to put button, whichever. So now let me show you how we are going to do here. On this point, what you will do is just, you see where this edge is? Fold it in like so. Fold it in like so. Like this. And you sew through it like this. So let me just show you the sewing. So you see, I placed it. Sewn it. See how I sewed it. 
Then I'll pull it out like this. You can see how it is neat. So for us to do this part, we, want, we don't want to sew it like the regular way they sew pan trousers. So what we want to do is this. As it is like this, as it is like this, you fold this stitch you have here like this, this way, and keep it like this, and sew through to this point. That's what you do. Watch me as I do it, please. From here, you see me. You sew like so. So now, we've gone ahead to sew through that line with iron. You can see the line, the edge here is showing. So we sew through it like this and we stopped halfway. So we are going to trim this like this. Have you seen it? So now, we bring this one like so. So this is how it will be. Put this in very well. Have you seen it? I'm supposed to have whipped out. I'm supposed to fold it in with pressing iron. Bone sewing. That allowance we kept for the folding, we're supposed to fold it in. So since I forgot, I can also do it now. So I'll just bend this in like so. Have you seen it? It's already taking shape. So I'll go in. Use any sharp object to pull this out like this. Seen it. So the next thing to do, after I finish folding that part in, I'll secure it with a pin like this, so it does not move on me while I'm sewing it. So I'll fold it like this, and I'll go ahead. I'll open this point, this stitch. And I'll put my needle in here and I'll sew it round. I'll show you after I'm done. Like I told you, I was supposed to bend here with my iron when, while I was ironing, but I forgot. So now, see, I'll fold here in like so to this line, the first stitch. So I'm folding it into it like this, if you see it, into it. And I'll just go ahead and fold it all round. I'll secure it with a pin, like so, all around like so, have you seen it? I'll secure it with a pin, like so, I'll just do the same all the way, then I'll show you when I'm done. Now you can see, we've secured it with the we secured it with the pin since we forgot to open it. So now we want to go ahead. We we'll put our needle this way. Let me just show you. We we'll place it like this. Like this. On this line. On this line. And you put your needle in there. I just start sewing all the way. Try and pull it out. Are you seeing me? We're going to just pull it out like so. And we're sewing all the way. Then okay. Trouser is almost ready. We are done. You can see it. Well sewn. Well sewn. So the next thing to do to come this way you hold this tool like this give it a quick match like so match it like so then the next thing to do is to come here you get to cut all your threads while you're sewing please so we want to come in through here we we'll match it from here all the way down. 
So watch me as I do it. So we're coming in like so. Like so. And our trouser is ready. The only thing left to do now is for us to So, we'll just go in and zip it up like so. Zip it up. Have you seen it? On its own, it has lapped properly. So, we are done with our trouser. I'll just go and wear it on the mannequin. And you see, it's just for you to get a hook and put it, and we are done. But I'll use this to just hold it. The trouser is ready. I'll wait on the mannequin and we'll see it. Now, on this part, the damp part, what you just do, remember we added just two inch. So I'm seeing some abnormalities here. What I'll just do, I'll just go in, trim it and equal it properly like so yeah. remember we added just two inch go in mark your two inch give it a good inter um weave it all through interlocking interlock it the way we interlocked here separately you go onto your ironing board you bring out your trouser out like so i'll teach you on another video on how to iron your pant trousers well so you bring it out like so mark your two inch mark the two inch after you've interlocked it mark your two inch look for aiming gum aiming gum use your aiming gum this is what is called aiming gum what you do after you've marked your two inch you fold it when you fold it, give it a good press. You put your aiming gum underneath like so. And you iron it properly. You can double the aiming gum. It will make it a bit thicker and stronger that makes it stand better. You iron it all through and it will be fine. Thank you.